Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share some tips for those of you who want to quit fast fashion. If you've been following me for a while, then you probably know that I've been on my own journey to try and shop more sustainably uh, and also make better choices when it comes to adding to my wardrobe. I feel like in the last few years there has been so much more social awareness around the general impact of the uh, fashion industry on the environment, the actual conditions that some garment workers are subjected to and really the true cost of cheap or fast fashion. It often feels like we've got 52 micro seasons in a year and the reality is with so much being pumped out and so much kind of being thrown at us at such a cheap price, someone else is paying for it if you aren't. There are actually some really amazing resources if you want to learn more about sustainable fashion. I've done some other videos and also written some blog posts so I will link those down in the description box below. I think Lucy Siegel's To Die For is Fashion Wearing Out the World is an excellent read. I actually read it around eight years ago and it was sort of what got me started on this entire journey. The True Cost on Netflix is also a really fabulous documentary that will give you some real insight into the inner working of the garment industry and really how workers and the environment is being exploited. I am really excited to also share that today's video is in partnership with Diviniers, which I will talk a little bit about later on in this video. But first of all, let's dive into my first tip, which is to really define your personal style. And the reason why I point this out as the first step to make is because I found that defining your personal style can be a real turning point in actually understanding what you might want to add to your wardrobe in future. And that's something I'm going to talk about a little bit later in this video as well. For me, knowing my own personal style has been a real driver in actually directing any of my future purchases and it allows me to know where I actually should be investing my money because obviously when it comes to building a timeless or classic wardrobe, one that's going to last you a really long time, it actually does take time. You need to be patient and be aware that it's going to take many years before you have all of your foundations covered. My second tip is just generally to stay away from the high street stores unsubscribe from their mailing list and just go cold turkey. I know this might seem really difficult, especially if you are used to getting a bit of a quick fix, you really enjoy, you know, looking through the racks and spotting something new to add to your wardrobe and you kind of get joy out of that. But trust me when I say once you develop that habit of not visiting those shops anymore, it will completely transform the way and your attitude towards buying anything new for your closet. Tip number three is to support ethical or sustainable or just general slow fashion brands. Finding brands that really align with your values and that you also love their designs. This is where Divinius comes in. So Divinius is a really fantastic ethical and sustainable brand and I'm really proud to be partnering with them on this video. They have so many practices in place to ensure that they are having less of an impact on the environment and also supporting their garment workers. So I'm going to kind of run you through those. So the first thing is that they are transparent about their costs. So if you go onto their website you can actually see a breakdown of all the costs. The second thing that they do is limited production runs which I think is really amazing. Limited production is really the way to go in terms of creating a brand that is holistically sustainable. The next thing that they do is use sustainable materials in their production and manufacturing process. This means that they will biodegrade as opposed to sitting in landfill for hundreds of years. I've actually got a few pieces here which they kindly gifted to me uh, which I wanted to mention and just kind of talk about the different fabrics that they've used. So the first item I have is their rear short sleeve tee. I've got this in the size small and this is a really beautiful 100% organic cotton. So you're going to notice there is a real attention to detail in terms of sourcing their materials as well. Then I also have more of a summary piece. This is the Gaia top which I just think is an absolutely gorgeous tank. This is 30% organic cotton and then 70% tensile. If you aren't familiar with what tensile is, it's a man-made fiber but it's sustainable. It's made from wood pulp so I think that's really cool. This has a slight suede feel to the fabric. It's very soft again. And then the final piece that I have is the Ariel Raglan Crew which is just a beautiful oversized sweatshirt. This is in again 100% organic cotton. It is really nice and soft it almost has a fleeced effect on the inside so very super cozy a good lightweight option for the transitional season for sure and all these items come in other colors I will link them down in the description box below if you would like to go and check them out along with the sizes that I'm wearing in the cutaways I also have a really strong ethical code across production the materials that they use as I just described animal welfare working conditions 
uh, and all of the items are produced in North America as well. So all of their garment workers are receiving a fair wage. Divineers also have a social giving aspect to the brand, which I just think is so special. It's really wonderful and something that I personally really admire. So what's amazing about this is that they contribute 10% of their net profits from each purchase towards supporting the daily lives of women and girls in 18 countries across four core impact areas. So more than 80% of garment workers are actually female and Divinius really wants to give back to them. So they actually have some core charities that they give back to, which uh, cover areas across education, healthcare, social justice, careers and income and the environment. So it's really amazing to see that Divinius is giving back to communities who are producing the clothing that we wear on a daily basis. Now if anything from their website has caught your eye, Divinius have very kindly given me a 10% off discount code, which is Jamie. I'm going to have it across the screen here. I will leave all the details down in the description box below, but they do also offer free shipping for purchases of more than $100 if you're based in the US and more than $150 if you're based in the UK or Australia. Now, my next tip when it comes to quitting fast fashion is to really establish your priorities. So really establish your values and what is most important to you when it comes to purchasing items. So, I mean, I talked through so many different values just previously with Divinius, but it it could be that perhaps you want to um, be supporting brands that are using natural fibers only, that are using recycled materials, that are trying to reduce their water usage, that are perhaps trying to reduce the types of chemicals that they are using in production and using clean manufacturing processes, perhaps ones that are providing more than a living wage to their workers. I feel like it really helps when you are quitting fast fashion to have identified those issues which resonate or that you find align most with your own personal values and then looking to satisfy those conditions when you make any future purchases or seeking out brands that really align with those. Vivian Westwood said it best when she said, buy less, choose well. It's a mantra that I've tried to instill in my own shopping habits. And I find that when you are more careful about what you're adding to your wardrobe, you really enjoy those pieces much more. They add so much more value. They add so much more joy in terms of wearing them because it's something that you love, you cherish, and you're going to want to wear over and over again. So thinking a little bit more carefully. I know that sustainable or ethical fashion can be a little bit more expensive so you do have to be a little bit more considerate when it comes to actually going through with a purchase which kind of brings me to my next point which is to think about longevity when it comes to budgeting. While I've always said that price is not an indicator of quality it can be a reflection of all of the other factors that go into making an item. I think one of the things that has really instilled this in me is actually been knitting. I've recently been knitting a cardigan and it takes a really long time. I think I've spent over five or six hours on it. I'm not even halfway finished and it's really, I think, to me, increased the value of actually knitting a piece. And here in Australia, so minimum wage is around $21 an hour. So just think about that. I've already spent over six hours knitting this sweater. It's going to take me probably 14 hours to make. 14 times 21 is over $280 and that's before you actually factor in any profits. So you do have to be quite considerate of that, that you are placing a value on not only the item itself, but also the work that's gone into it and the materials that have been used. So keeping in mind my previous point about buying less and choosing well, Think about the items that are really going to add a lot to your wardrobe, but also be things that you're going to continue to reach for years and years to come. And for me, that is always the basics, which kind of brings me on to my final point, which is to really prioritize basic pieces. Uh, I find personally, and if you've been watching my What I Wear in a Week videos or just any of my style videos in general, you will know that so many of my outfits are founded on basic pieces and you can really do a lot with basic items. You can jazz them up in really fun ways, whether it's a bold red lip that's one of my favorite ways to kind of spice up my outfit and make it feel a little bit more interesting but also you could add on some really cool jewelry you could have a really nice bright colored bag and basics don't have to be black white and gray they can be colorful as well depending on your personal style and what you personally prefer so um, I do think it is really important to kind of think about those first because they're gonna be the items that you reach for on a daily basis and they will get the most wear even if they might seem like the safe choice or maybe a uh, less exciting choice than a trendy item that you might only wear for one season. So definitely thinking beyond the season and thinking about how you want your wardrobe to look long term. Anyway, that is it from me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you value. 
you. Thank you so much to Divinius for partnering with me on this one again. It's so great to be able to introduce you to such a wonderful brand. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any other tips for quitting fast fashion, then I would love to hear them down in the comment section below as always. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.